Hey guys, I have a Strand Warlock build for you today that I'm calling the Thread Slayer. With this build, you'll have an army of Threadlings that'll seek out and destroy targets with reckless abandon. What's great about this build, aside from having shoulder-mounted minions ready to die for you, is how easy it is to use and how devastating it can be. Before we start, consider dropping a like if you find this video useful and subscribing for more build videos. Thanks! Alright, let's get into it. For the exotics, we have Swarmers to create Threadlings when destroying a Tangle and unravel targets with said Threadlings. Next we have Quicksilver Storm to create Tangles when we get kills with its alt fire grenade launcher. In the subclass section we have Healing Rift for when we get into sticky situations or when you need to hold a position. Next we have Arcane Needle to unravel targets from a distance with our melee or if we're lucky, get a kill. Of course, we'll use Threadling Grenades to either throw them or consume them with our first aspect, Mind Spun Invocation. This aspect gives you five Threadlings when you consume your grenade. They'll stay with you until you engage the enemy. The second aspect is Weaver's Call. When we activate Healing Rift, we deploy a trio of Threadlings and any that we have perched. For our first fragment, we have Thread of Generation to build up grenade energy when doing damage. Thread of Warding to get Woven Mail when picking up an Orb of Power. Thread of Evolution to make our Threadlings travel faster and deal more damage. And Thread of Finality to create Threadlings with finisher final blows. Finally, for the Super, Needle Storm, which creates even more Threadlings after an explosive barrage of needles. Now for the Armor Mods. For Orb of Power Generation, we have Harmonic Siphon and Reaper. For Ability Energy, we'll need Dynamo, Focusing Strike, Impact Induction, Innervation, and Bomber. For health and resistance, we got recuperation and two elemental resist mods. To buff our heavy weapon, we'll use harmonic reserves, heavy ammo finder, and harmonic dexterity. We also have two specialty mods, strand weapon surge and powerful attraction. With this season's artifact, we get two mods that help us create even more threadlings, unraveling orbs and horde shuttle. For your stats, I highly recommend maxing out resilience and recovery as much as you can. For your heavy weapon, I also recommend a strand weapon for better synergy with this build. Well, that's the build. Thanks for watching. I posted a dim link in the comments below, and I'll leave you with the lost sector clear that I did with this build. Until next time.